Last year, the media covered the Taliban takeover of Kabul, where over 350 Afghan refugees were welcomed into Albany. But housing them has been a major challenge for the city. In declaring Albany a sanctuary city, Mayor Sheehan cares about refugees with her strategy to support and house them. So we want to be able to ensure that residents who come here from all over are able to not only find a place to rent in the city of Albany, but then as they work and as they're able to um, uh, accumulate some savings to be able to have them become homeowners in the city of Albany. We want to make sure that we're making investments in the neighborhoods where our refugees are settling. The neighborhood of West Hill was hit hard by the 2008 mortgage crisis, resulting in the highest vacancies in Albany. The vacancies have caused older homes to fall into disrepair, but are being renovated by the Refugee Welcome Center in West Hill to become the new home for refugees. Tim Doherty is the CEO and founder of the Refugee Welcome Center, a nonprofit organization invested and rooted in the neighborhood. After that recession of 09, everything starts going vacant. We had 22 houses on this block. When I got in there, two thirds were homeowner occupied, which is the ideal. Like not landlords or rentals, they were people that lived there that owned it. Within two years, 2012 to 2014, it reversed. It went, not even reversed, it went two thirds vacant. Everybody just left. Uh, for If they got a tax foreclosure notice from the county, it's like, I'm out. People just walking away. While some saw the vacancies as a problem, the center saw an opportunity to buy and renovate them. Housing refugees is the biggest concern for the Welcome Center, and through grants and contributions, they are able to do that and provide stabilized rent. The mission is resettling people, helping resettle people who are refugees. Just making your community be community hospitable has impact. This West Hill house is expected to be fully renovated in five to six weeks and will become the new home for an Afghani family of 12. By no means are we flipping. That's the whole point. Flipping is part of the problem. It's the transients. Everyone's moving. The landlords, you know, no one knows anybody. There's, you can't build a neighborhood where nobody trusts or knows anyone. S fled Afghanistan after the Taliban threatened her life because she worked for the U.S. government in Kabul. She has been in Albany for three months and is grateful to be safe. The, my life was in the danger because I was working with the U.S. government in, in Afghanistan. And every uh, time when I was uh, coming back to my house in Kabul, <laughs> was saying to me that I'm afraid of your job. Please leave your job. Do not go to office. Because one night maybe they could come to our house, they would, they would kill you. Coming from a middle class home in Kabul, S was disappointed when she arrived at her new apartment that had little to no furniture. The Refugee Welcome Center, though, has slowly provided what she needs. My people, they are coming with the nothing. They have nothing here. here. That is why the Halbani is the most fitting city or the affordable city with the newcomers. Albany city is a good city to fit for the first time. And the people in here is most kind and they are helping. The Refugee Welcome Center is one of the organizations helping with housing. Specifically with Tim, he acts as a mediator for refugees and landlords. Through negotiations, he is allowed to sublet their apartments for incoming families. We bec I become a go-to area because if something's wrong, we're there to fix it. The rent is affordable. It's a fairly secure area. The goal is to have refugees permanently stay and grow in the neighborhood, transforming West Hill into a community where everyone not only knows each other, but helps each other. Housing is the initial concern for incoming refugees. Assimilation, though, is the subsequent battle. Organizations such as the YMCA are a helpful resource in the process.